Uh, well, from the beginning, I was looking for a Christian school, and Eastern really embodies everything I was looking for in a school, uh, both athletically and academically, so I think they hit a really good balance with that. Well, right from the start, I was looking to play soccer at a Christian school, um, and I really kind of fell in love with the idea that uh, you didn't have to be a Christian to come to this school. I think it's like a pretty valuable part of the community that we have going on. It's a, it's a really neat place to be involved with because I think Eastern just really gets faith. Eastern looks at faith as something that is not coerced, but as something that is just freely shared and that people, whether they share the same worldview that we have or whether they don't, have the ability to both explore that and then accept or reject it. And it makes for a very uh, open environment and atmosphere where I think people really come in and learn and grow a ton as people and as people that grow tremendously in their faith over their four years. Father God, we just pause now um, and we just thank you for this day. Um, we just thank you for your love, for your presence in our lives and for your grace. I like just the, uh, the family atmosphere. Uh, we're all like a brotherhood here. Um, everyone's like can be comfortable talking with everybody and just um, if there's ever a problem just you can talk to anybody on the team. The really awesome thing about Eastern men's soccer is to see a group of people with different backgrounds come together and, and form such a strong, close, tight bond. Being on the team is my favorite part of Eastern. Um, that's um, one of the main reasons I chose Eastern. Um, I got recruited my junior year and ever since then that the relationship just started there with the coaches and carried into my with my teammates. So just my favorite thing to do on campus is just to hang out with the guys on my team. Um, we're all just a big family and we just love being around each other and hanging out. Our relationship I'd say is probably these are like your best friends at school pretty much. I mean you spend at least the first and second semester you're pretty much spending all your time with these guys and you pretty much make lifelong friends and there's nothing that really beats it. Yeah, the guys on the team guys on the team are great. Um, you know, we're kind of just always together, especially at the beginning of the year during preseason. Uh, even later in the year and after the season's over, we're still hanging out all the time, just always seeing each other, always catching up. Um, like even just kicking around when we don't need to. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun, like a lot of, a lot of great unity on the team. Um, I love the guys I play with here. You know, even on and off the field, we're spending time together any given day. I have three or four guys over in my room. And coaching staff's great. Uh, we've, I've known a couple of them since I was in eighth grade, and they've always been there for me, whether it was before my time here and even more so now that I'm here. Everyone's kind of focusing on the main goal, which is trying to win the conference championship and making it to NCAA. Um, but yeah, coaches have definitely prepared us. Uh, we have coaches for each line. We have a forward coach, a midfielder coach, a backline coach, a goalkeeper coach. I oversee everything. We also have a coach that just is exclusively devoted outside of practices to breaking down film of our team and our opponents. So the learning that is able to occur with our program, I'd say in comparison to most other programs, I think it's just a lot higher. My recruiting trip and everything, ever since then, they've treated you, I mean, mainly like their own son. I mean, Wags and Hendy and all of them do a pretty good job just keeping you in the loop and keeping understanding what's going on and trying to just answer questions for you. So, I mean, pretty personal people. Good, maybe a bit soft. Maybe a bit soft. That's good. I like it, ping it, good. Two things I do not want. Square balls in the back line and square balls in the midfield. Both are death. They get intercepted time after time. Everything's on angles, all right? Ball here, play, we're live. A lot of the classes I take are um, very like discussion oriented and uh, we read like a lot of great books and it's really interesting and very challenging and um, I've really like fallen in love with those things. Um, some academic experiences, I guess. Being a, an education major, I had some pretty cool education classes. One I guess would be classroom management with uh, Bob Stremme. He's probably my favorite teacher here so far at uh, Eastern, and he, it's just nice to be able to like, connect with a professor and understand what's really out there in the real world. Uh, yeah, I was given the opportunity to study abroad. I spent four months in Lithuania and got to travel to other countries as well, and just got a completely different atmosphere and was able to still experience the Christian environment that I have here at Eastern as well. Uh, my freshman year, one of our, co our now coaches had an overtime goal to beat our cross-road rivals Cabrini and it was just an amazing atmosphere to be in. Uh, both 
both uh, my freshman and sophomore year, we got to the conference championship, which was a real good experience. Um, in my sophomore year, I scored two goals in the semifinals against the Sales, um, which was great. Um, that was a good day. So just both years being in the conference final, getting that experience has been amazing. Probably like just the best things are playing against Cabrini and playing in the homecoming game, just like seeing like all the people come out. <laughs>